keep it simple. These words uh, were uttered by many famous football coaches, and uh, one of the most notor notorious coaches for uh, saying this is Vince Lombardi, the great, uh, probably one of the greatest coaches of all time, if not the considered the greatest of coach of all time. And uh, what he meant by keep it simple is this. Football is a game of execution. It's a game of being able to have your plan, execute your plan uh, better than the opponent. That's what we're trying to do uh, on the, in, the, in the game of football. And so what we're looking at today uh, is I want to talk to you about a basic concept called levels. So today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, Peyton Manning's favorite passing in a passing play, and that is the play levels. Now we're going to talk about levels in a couple of in a couple of videos here. Today we're going to be discussing the core of the levels concept, what makes levels what it is, and why it is important. Uh, first, I want to read to you uh, a little bit about levels and what it is. So, so levels really at its core is a, is what's called a vertical stretch, and what a vertical stretch is is a vertical stretch is a, is a play that places two or three receivers at different levels vertically up the field in order to stretch the defense. Examples include the smash concept, the flood concept, uh, and what it really becomes is high-low or low-high reads. That's, that's what the core of, of the levels concept is, and that does a really, really good job against coverages that are too high. So that would be cover two man, that would be cover four, and that would be cover two. Now, all you know, we see a variety of two high safety looks, but those are the three main coverages you're going to see. So, what we want to talk about today is the levels concept, kind of the basics. And normally, what it comes out of is a two by two set. That's where it's kind of based out of. And I want to show you. We're going to put a little uh, spin on it towards uh, tomorrow and show you how to run it out of a three by one set. Because out of a three by one set, in my opinion, it makes this play very, very effective. Uh, for beating man-to-man -man coverages because we can now utilize picks and rubs and, and different concepts we'll be talking to you about there. Okay, so the double set, and we're in the, I think we are in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook, or no, we're in the Indianapolis Colts playbook. So it comes out of a two-by-two two set, and uh, I don't know if I have one here. We'll just, we'll just try to see if they have it in the single-back doubles. I think they do have the actual play levels uh, in there do they no it doesn't look like they do okay let's see I think they have it out of trips uh, maybe maybe they don't that's gonna suck okay well Madden for some reason doesn't have this play it's only in a couple of playbooks it's funny because this is such a popular passing concept um, I have some resources that I want to leave you guys with in the link below uh, but basically what those resources are going to do is they're going to help you kind of explore more about this passing concept. Uh, Nick Saban, the coach from Alabama, he has dubbed this the most difficult passing concept to defend. Uh, so anyway, so let's get into it here. So we're just going to pick uh, a basic play. It doesn't really matter. We're going to use uh, today, we're just going to use, we're just going to make this concept out of four verticals. Uh, if we can find, we can find it. We'll, we'll, we'll just use it out of wide receiver drag. That's okay. So wide receiver drag. Now what this is, is levels concept. Basically what it is, is you want to have on the, on the play side, so the level side, you're going to have a receiver running a, basically a 10 yard in. And then you're going to have your outside receiver running a quick little five yard in or a drag or something something along those lines okay so what's going to happen here is against man to man you're going to want to try to attack this little quick drag and so here we can see we're just going to have our number one receiver one on one uh you know if you're playing mutt you want to have good route running there and uh and this will work just fine for you now uh what if they're in for example zone so, like I said, this is really, really good against too high. So let me show you it against cover two. What's going to happen here is this in route that linebacker is going to go to the in route, and we're going to be able to deliver this quick drag underneath for a quick five to ten yards. Now, what happens uh, with it being the tight end that's the one on the in route is it makes it a little bit uh, weird in terms of how it works. But in the event that it's a cover three, we've got this deep post route that we can hit. We also have 
Uh, traditionally, they'll have a curl flat read on the left side uh, so that you can hit you know, this curl route if, if they're in cover three. But what I want to do uh, is I want to go to another formation because this doubles is not exactly going to give you everything that it needs to. Uh, for some reason, they've really destroyed. I don't know why because Madden prides itself on having real football plays, but there's not really very many levels. I know if you go by concept, uh, if you go to concept, I'm pretty sure if you go to, yeah, so if you go to pass, uh, here it is, so medium pass, and then there's the levels concept. Oh, I guess they do have the levels divide. I guess it's from single back ace, but that's all they have. Yeah, that sucks. But anyways, um, so here you'll see this levels divide and let's just look at this play art real quick. What you've got on the left is you've got your levels concept, and then on the right side you've got uh, a vertical seam read. And what a seam read is, and the reason it works so good with the play levels, is because the best way to defend levels is to go man-to-man. -man. Uh, and really what it's to go man-to-man -man with is the seam is going to split the safety. So it's hard to show hear exactly what I'm trying to talk about, but w hopefully we'll be able to show it. Uh, let's go to this little spread set because it probably will work a little better out of this spread type feel here. So let's we're just going to use a four verticals play because that's that's all we're going to do. And you can, like I said, you can make this out of anything, uh, especially if you're on like a first and ten because you can just smart route the in route. So what you want to do here uh, is you've got you want to put your running back on a little flat swing read. That's all he's going to do. That's all he's really trying to do. But the, these two receivers right here, Norwood and Thomas, that's your and you can flip flop it and do things like that. But at the core of the concept is on the left. You know we're going to run levels, and we're going to run it with these two receivers. So we're going to put uh, Norwood on a little ten yard in route. And then we're going to also put Thomas on a five yard in route. And you see, this is going to create the levels principle. Now, what I like to, what I like to do in this scenario, uh, because we're playing Madden, it is a video game. Let me just show you why this works real quick. So let's go to a cover three. And what you'll see here is, you know, they'll go up and then we've got that check down underneath Thomas coming across, as you can see. It's a pretty simple read. Basically, what's going to happen is uh, Norwood is going to pull the zone up. That's that's really all we're doing here. And then against man to man, you see it's you know they're gonna you know they're gonna have to get that inside release. Now this is where it's important to mix up your play calling. Uh, and this is why tomorrow's video is so important too because what you want to do here is you don't want to just run levels. There's a play off of it as well that is pretty much almost as important, and we can't show it here because they don't have the quick audibles. But we'll go to wide receiver drag and just show you. So if we go to the standard gun doubles, now now this is where it's just as important. So if we put Daniels on an out route instead of an in route, we kept that same route from Sanders, but Daniels is now on an out route. What it is, is it's the same concept, they're just now going in a different direction. And now, you know, that out route, and, and what really this is going even more towards uh, is a play like s the smash concept. Uh, and what the smash concept is, is basically something like this. Something like this on the far right, and then you want to have that seam read uh, at all times, but basically, you're going to get this outside breaking pattern, and the key is leverage. And that, I talk about that all the time. Basically, what you want to do is you want to see where do you have leverage. So, for example, if they're just matched up over the top of you like this, then you have inside leverage. So here, we're going to get that inside leverage, throw a little slant pattern to Norwood. Now, in the event that they're giving you outside leverage, so... So let's let's show you something like this. So if they went like this to try to stop the slant, then now you have outside leverage to Norwood. So you're going to want to throw an outbreaking pattern, and all of this comes down to route running. And again, we're going to use like corner routes and things like that to get really really good separation. But the the, the concept is what I'm after today. I want to teach you guys the concept of this. Again, here's an inside breaking pattern. Um, and against most man-to-man, -man, you're going to get that inside break. 
uh, especially if you especially if you you know work with your drags what you want to do is when you're working with against man to man this season because it's such a difficult defense to beat this year what I would recommend doing is putting Norwood on a little hitch route it's the same thing as an in route I'll throw an interception of course but it's the same thing as an in route and what you're gonna do is you're gonna low pass lead it hitch routes are unbumpable no, throw two consecutive interceptions but guys it comes down to route running uh, that's how you get that free that's how you beat man to man this year there's three ways you know you have a superior receiver you run natural picks and rubs uh, you know or you have um, your natural picks and rubs or you use your formation okay so that's a couple of there's a lot there but I want to get back to this concept real quick so now what I want to show you is I want to show you why this concept works so well and I want to kind of show you the next step so what you'll see from time to time especially if you play uh, especially if you play high level Madden is you'll see something like this you'll see guys do stuff like this and what this really is you know and, and, they'll, and they'll use her McCourty so they'll take that safety way they'll give you this kind of bare front and when we're running this levels concept this is where we use an optional switch to the play and that is the seam option and the seam option what this basically means is you're gonna put you're gonna put this triangle receiver up the seams and you're gonna try to split the coverage if they're running an undisciplined coverage like a cover three or a cover zero so you still have your levels underneath you still have your curl flat concept on the right side and you still have that route to Thomas so what happens now is now they're in man over top and I've got a one-on-one -on -one over the top can I win that battle oftentimes in Madden 16 you will be able to if you have a superior receiver but even more so when they run the when they run the cover three this is what I really wanted to show you because a lot of guys um, a lot of guys struggle beating this defense I have struggled but anyway here it is so he steps up in the pocket and you've got this little little tender spot to get the ball to Norwood there up the seam and again it's an option but what's gonna eventually happen guys I'm telling you just from experience is they're gonna use her this safety and they're gonna come down on your little crossing pattern and you're gonna leave that void wide open what this what that seam option does against one high safeties is it allows you to run this against pretty much any defense I mean here's cover two man and again you've got that inside release breaking pattern once he beats that press it's inside release now tomorrow we're gonna show you some things to do against man-to-man -man. what we're trying to teach you is the basic principle of levels and we're gonna apply this to several different formations going forward so I hope you kind of got the idea um, but it, it can be applied from so many so many other things but the concept is vertical stretch and what you want is you have two receivers one of them's going to run like he's running a seam and then he's going to cut it in like a dig and you have another guy that's going to run up and in on a quick five yard dig and that five yard dig route uh, is where we want to is where we're wanting to target the ball because what he's going to do is he's going to come under the zone getting room to run after the catch uh, I got some articles that I'm going to leave uh, in the description for you to read uh, I think that they have uh, some really good things to say about the levels concept and what we're trying to do with it but this is the core principle around everything I do on offense is levels and leverage so levels and leverage if you can learn those two things you can learn a lot about the game of Madden so I want to uh, thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below tomorrow we're going to show you how to run this out of a three by one set and and I think we're also going to be talking a little bit later on this week